So let's say you do want to use the adjusted grade column because you have a couple of students, maybe you want to bump the grade up just a little bit because of their good attendance or something like that. So if you have criteria in your syllabus that state why a student's grade might be slightly adjusted, then you can use the adjusted grade column. Be very, very cautious if there's any reason why you would lower a student's grade within the adjusted grade column, just make sure your syllabus explain exactly why you're doing that. So you see that I have no eyeball here in the final calculated grade, which means my final adjusted grade is the column that D2L is recognizing as the grade. Now you notice the final calculated grade is the only column that's showing up at the beginning of my gradebook. If I'm going to use the adjusted grade, I do recommend that you go to the settings cogwheel and in the personal display options tab, scroll down and click the box that says repeat adjusted final grade at the start of the user list. When you do this, you'll see that when you go back to enter grades, the final adjusted grade column is now right next to the final calculated grade column. That just makes it a little bit easier to see what you're doing when you're doing these adjustments. The next step would be to transfer the grade from the calculated grade column to the adjusted grade column. To do this, click on the drop down arrow next to final adjusted grade, select grade all, and then you'll see that the final adjusted grade column now gives you a space where you can retype the grade. You can see that you can manually transfer the grades over student by student, but the easiest thing to do is go up to the top where it says final grades, click the drop down arrow, and select transfer all. Click yes, and then all of the student grades will be moved from the calculated grade column to the adjusted grade column. And now when I save and close, I see that the eyeball is here. Currently it has a slash through it, which means that it is not visible to the student. I have another video that talks you through that. Thanks for watching.